I am. Delicate and pathetic you are in the eyes of those who take advantage of your weakness. Gentle and kind you were, but your love overshadowed the translation of fear. You cried for help and no one heard. You cried out for mercy, but the frequency of your voice was blurred. You shouted with all your heart in silence and the tears followed through like a desert begging for a single mist. Your physical wounds are easily repaired, but your emotional scars can never be reestablished. Who can reinstate that passionate you? Who can restore your scars with fervent adorations. Where did your self-esteem go? Who can dry your internal tears? And who can hear your lonely cries at night? And who can rescue your hopeless mentions? Despairing and depressed when you remember the screams and the wailing of your soul. But in you, my sister, there is something there is something that was lost and has never been told it's that Pandora box of strength that you pull from deep within your womb and you come to significant term with self that your past must never and can never be exhumed all is in control now when you smile when you reminisce the scars because I see you as a resistor and you are the great I am by far. You now say to yourself, I am the strongest one. You now say to yourself, I am the control of my world. I am a strong woman. You now say to yourself, I am the giver of life. I had to endure that bitter hatred so I can teach a better life. I am the full circle. I am the power to nurture. I am the power to navigate and, and, and navigate myself to a better and more contented future. Stronger than I was before and I am the challenger of the world through my eyes. I am the great forgiver of sins and no more will I cry. I am the strongest one. No more will I cry. Because I am love. I am resilient. I am woman. Thank you. <laughs> nice, nice.